Welcome back to another DIY video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Todd Larson and I like to uh, do DIY gardening builds. So today I'm going to recycle or reuse one of my high pressure aeroponics towers and turn it into a uh, composting tower. At least that's the uh, that's my goal here anyway. So here behind me I've got one of my uh, neglected towers that's been collecting dust for some time now and I've got another container inside of it and um, this container that I'm using on the inside this black container uh, I got from a, a water softening system and then I uh, have another pipe inside of it and the plan is let's see if I can get you guys up closer so you can see in the inside and see what I'm doing here Kind of see what's going on in there. Maybe I can get you a little bit closer here. All right, we'll try that. If you can't see it, I'm sorry. So here we've got our container, and then we've got another tube in the center here. And what I want to do is fill this outer portion here, uh, in between the 55-gallon uh, drum and this black plastic container. I want to fill that up with uh, uh, cocoa core. And right next to me, I have a wheelbarrow full. I'm gonna have to do it by hand. But before I do any of that, I need to drill some holes. Uh, I'm gonna need to drill holes in this thing. This is gonna be uh, the watering pipe. I do have a lid for it. So this is gonna be how I uh, introduce water to it. And then this area around here will be the composter. And I'm gonna have to drill holes on in this pipe and in this container here. That way that the worms can travel in and out and uh, do what they do and break down the, the compost. So let me back the camera back up over here. And uh, this is gonna be a several part video. I don't imagine I'll be able to finish this today. But we'll uh, see what I can get done and uh, you guys can see, what, uh, see how I do it. And uh, see if this works or not and I happen to have already I have a drill and I have a three-quarter inch auger bit and that's what I'm gonna try to use on this and I'll probably uh, pause it a couple of times that way you don't have to sit there and watch me drill a bunch of holes. But like I said, this will be several parts. So I'll do what I can today. And I uh, hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, not sure where everybody else is at, but uh, here in Arizona where I live, it is beautiful. It's sunny, it's warm. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. So, um, I'm just going to do this randomly because I think that'll be best. Um, so here we go. I'm going to start out with a couple of holes here at the bottom. And this is a lot better than using a battery powered drill if you have a battery powered one. But I'm not going to make you watch me do all that. I'm going to pause it. And then I'm going to drill all the holes. And then we'll come back. And see what it looks like. Alright. Alright, so I got all those holes drilled. And like I said, I didn't uh, measure them out or anything. I just did it randomly. So I'm not sure if you can see the holes in there or not. But these will be the passageways for the worms to travel in and out through the medium and through the compost. And I'm going to have to cut this thing too. As you can see, I'm going to it inside here. It's a little tall. 
Um, it's also okay, I may not do anything with that. But just have to see. And then I cut some holes in this. Um, I did notice that at the bottom of this, it's already got a bunch of holes, uh, some horizontal, or I mean vertical holes, or uh, vertical slots, I guess. And uh, I think that'll be fine. And then, like I said, I have a cap for this. I'll keep the mosquitoes out. You're probably all looking at the ground right now. Sorry about that. All right. So I think that will work. Um, I might, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do at the bottom of this. Uh, Cause it's resting flat. The bottom is resting on the bottom of this flat and uh, there's no way for the water to drain out. So I'm gonna have to think about that for a minute. Get this centered in here. Um, hmm. I may put some large rocks at the bottom. I think that's what I'll do. Maybe just some rocks from the yard here that I have laying right here. And then that will give me a little gap at the bottom. Um, I probably have some PVC scraps that I could probably use too. Let's, uh, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to pause the video again. I'm going to go get some pieces. You probably can't see them, but over here I have like a little stash spot of broken and uh, just miscellaneous chunks. So I'll go grab some of those and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. I've got some uh, some four inch scraps that I have here that had uh, I had just made like these little spacers for a project last year. And uh, so I've got four of those and that's gonna give me about an inch. So we're just gonna spread those out in the bottom. show you what that looks like. And then there you go, you can see those at the bottom there. Those are going to be the spacers. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, we got about three minutes left. So we'll, uh, we're going to put this, we're going to put the big plastic piece in. See how it sits down at the bottom. I'm happy with that. It is a decent gap down. So I just need to center this up now. And uh, now the fun part. And I will save you from having to watch this because this looks like it might take a long time. So I'm going to take some of this cocoa core here, get it a little bit closer. Hopefully the wheelbarrow doesn't fall over and uh, make this a super fun, messy video and you guys can laugh at me. All right, so that ought to do. We'll just give it a test, throw some of it down in there. Um, it's probably a really easy way to do this. I'll just have to think about it for a minute. Maybe if I get a dustpan or something, I can do this. Um, I think that'll work though. Just toss that in around the outside. So we'll go ahead and pause this video again so you don't have to watch that. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, I guess I didn't think this out very well. Um, I don't want this to be sitting on a five gallon bucket because this is gonna be very heavy. So I'm going to stop filling this up for now. And uh, as you can see down here, I put a piece of uh, uh, scrap plexiglass on the ground so that I can capture some of the overfill so that I'm not wasting a lot of material. But hopefully this is gonna work out the way I think it will. I thought it up the other day. And if it does work, awesome. If not, no big deal. It was fun to make. And we're at almost 10 minutes now. This thing's gonna stop recording, I just know it. So.
we'll just do it the go with that for now um, it's about a quarter of the way full right now around all the way around the sides with the coco core and the coco core is mixed with uh, some of the compost that I had um, I've got a bunch of a bunch more compost that I'll be able to use but I mixed some of it with the coco core so just to give it some nutrients for now and then uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna plant in here either um, I have a lot of options so we'll see maybe you guys can post some suggestions down in the comments there if you have any questions too also post those down in the comment section and uh, hit like and subscribe and then click the little bell like on if you want uh, a notification each time I upload a new video and uh, thank you guys for watching uh, I appreciate it and uh, have a great weekend and keep building